most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Well, I think this is almost an obvious one at this point, but this is our weekly update from DCNR and all this color behind me on the state map of Pennsylvania means we are in the thick of our fall foliage season. Now, unfortunately, if you go farther to the north now to check out some of the colors, those colors starting to fade. Plus, we've had some wind the last couple of days. That's knocking down some of the leaves. Keep in mind, though, the whole mid state other than Adams, York and Lancaster County is now in their quote unquote best color stage. So now's the time to enjoy our local leaves. And then by the time we get to next week, York, Adams and Lancaster counties will be on their way to some of the peak foliage. Otherwise, it's been a nice day and I mean really nice, even a little bit better than I expected. Temperatures near 60 degrees for a lot of locations still. Hummelstown at 58, Chambersburg at 59, Mifflin Town and Summerdale also in the upper 50s and it's all sunshine. The clouds did clear and it's been a gorgeous day. Look across the river here from Wormleysburg to where the Capitol complex all blue sky and there have been showers off to our northwest, but remember yesterday I mentioned that shift in the wind. It's already happened. We're getting more of this southwesterly draw of air. It's all dry and it's turning warmer too. showers off to the northwest as I mentioned, but that does not affect our local forecast. Here's another shot this time looking from York County across to Lancaster County, the Susquehanna River there, Wrightsville. Notice temperatures tonight. The air is still relatively dry, so our readings do fall again into the 30s. This is probably the last frost advisory of the season because once everyone sees a frost, there's no reason to keep updating these advisories and warnings. So keep in mind, we still have the chance for frost tonight, even with the mild air moving through. Dry air begins to really filter in tomorrow and through the weekend, plus that warm up we've been talking about. So by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, temperatures will be easily into the 60s, maybe even into the 70s by Saturday. Let's show you our forecast locally. Again, clouds mainly off to the west, same with showers. So we're totally quiet through tomorrow and pretty much the same thing goes Saturday. But you're going to notice late in this loop. This is a model forecast. Keep in mind there are now more clouds late in the day Saturday. I don't see any rain here, so that's the good part about it. But again, in the southeastern areas, whether it's York, Lancaster counties may see a few extra clouds. It's all as this system along the coast kind of skirts by the region. So this is a different forecast model, and it does show the chance of a couple of showers southeast of Harrisburg on Sunday. We mentioned this last night. It's still there. I'm going to keep most of the area dry at this point because some models don't even show it getting anywhere near us. But Sunday night into Monday, the chance of a couple of showers southeast of Harrisburg. And then ladies, look at next week still. Low 70s yeah. Tuesday. Wednesday, upper 60s, then we start to cool off after next Wednesday, but mainly dry, a lot of sunshine out there. Great time to enjoy Gorgeous this fall days, colors. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Well, driving on the interstate.